हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज शत्रुघ्न एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एक्स्ट्रा एम्ब्रियोनिक मेम्ब्रेन सो दीज मेम्ब्रेन्स आर फॉर्म्ड आउटसाइड द एम्ब्रियो फ्रॉम द ट्रोपोब्लास्ट ओनली इन एम्नियोट्स सच एज रेप्टाइल्स बर्ड्स एंड मैमल्स एंड दे परफॉर्म स्पेसिफिक फंक्शन सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट दीज एक्स्ट्रा एम्ब्रियोनिक मेम्ब्रेन्स इन ब्रीफ so the very first extra embryonic membrane is chorion and it surrounds the whole embryo all right so it is present in the fold of somatofluor somatofluor kya hota hai ye dekh rahe hain aap ye hai chorion and this is the fold of somatofluor it means the inner layer is of mesoderm ye jo dotted red line hai and the outer layer is of ectoderm All right and in reptiles and birds it works as a or it acts as a extra embryonic lungs and it is known as allantochorion kyunki ye allantois aur chorion ke milan se bana hota hai but in humans it forms placenta the chorion forms placenta in humans next extra embryonic membrane is yolk sac and it is formed below the embryo and it is formed of splanchopleural membrane that is the inner membrane is endoderm and the outer membrane is mesoderm and it is vestigial in humans but well developed in birds and reptiles and it is the site of blood formation up to 6th week and then later on this role shifts to the liver next extra embryonic membrane is allantois and it is a fold of splanchopleur it means that the inner membrane is endoderm and the outer membrane is mesoderm and it acts as extra embryonic kidney and it also acts as extra embryonic lung so allantois has two functions as a kidney as well as for lungs the last extra embryonic membrane for embryo is amnion and it is the fold of somatofluor it means that the inner membrane is ectoderm and the outer membrane is mesoderm it consists of amniotic fluid that acts as a cushion for embryo and uh, protects the embryo as well as it prevents the desiccation of the embryo